While more than 50% of the foundries in the U.S. have closed over the past 10 years, Azier Metals and Struthers is thriving. Why? Because of an innovative casting process that's not only cost-effective, but eco-friendly as well. It's a six-month-old business located in the Castle Industrial Park, and it's already experiencing growing pains. Azier Metals casts gray iron, ductile iron, and steel, and it's the first commercial foundry in the U.S. to cast stainless steel products with the lost foam process. We are able to cast stainless steels, we are able to cast other steels, and if you read all the books, it says it can't be done. We've figured out different processes to allow us to do that. Mark DeBruin, one of the three co-founders, has a metallurgical engineering degree from Ohio State and has worked in the foundry business for 20 years. DeBruin says through the lost foam casting process, they're able to eliminate the need for machining, welding, and heat treating. The reason why this is better than the normal foundry process is because we can actually cast much, much tighter, like about half the width of your hair per inch. Most foundries is actually about five or six widths of your hair per inch. What do they make? Just about everything. These are actually race car parts for a racetrack in California. This is the exhaust connector. Basically it goes from your engine down to your exhaust thing. And this is a special kind of heat resistant iron. This is actually a gear sprocket for an RV place. And a chain actually goes through each of these sprockets and it's able to take like your awnings up and down. Azier focuses on prototypes, short to medium runs, replacement parts of iron or steel, and has done prototypes for Caterpillar in the mining industry. We also have this piece here which is a giant gear for a steel manufacturer in this general area. De Bruin says many foundries are shrinking because they're in the commodity business and can't compete with India and China. Lost foam is a specialty business that De Bruin says can save a customer money in trucking costs and setup time. He's also patenting a new process called Cody. Let's say we just want this area right here to be very, very hard and everything else to be regular ductile. I can actually form, I can actually make Cody just right in this little area and I can vary the hardness. The use of the lost foam process produces a precise duplication of the pattern that is being formed in the casting process, and De Bruin says the process is one of the most environmentally friendly foundry processes out there. When the foam decomposes, it's about 90% water and about 10% carbon dioxide. Right now, Azier employs six people with a goal of 200 workers in five to ten years. And that plan is part of the reasoning behind choosing the name Azir, which were Norse gods who established themselves as new and better gods. Right now, most of Azir's customers are located outside the area, California, Washington State, which is something he'd like to change. I'd like to get a word out to the Youngstown community that we can actually help them a lot with the products, and we can actually eliminate a lot of their machining and hopefully limit some of their headaches. To learn more about this up-and-coming company and all of their unique and innovative processes, be sure to visit aziermetals.com. With the Regional Chamber Report, I'm Kim Gonda.